In my last big three video, I kind of gave you guys a sneak peek as to what this next video would be. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James, three players that were very highly requested by you guys. Speaking of that, let me know down in the comments section which big threes you want to see. This series depends on you guys. The more suggestions you give me, the more videos I make, and the longer series we have of this. So, these are three players that have also been discussed in the greatest of all time discussion. We can have a nice basketball discussion in the comments. I am perfectly fine with that. I would love that. Honestly, my own personal opinion, I think it is Michael Jordan, but some people like Cash like to say LeBron, and then other people like to say Kobe. I don't really know anybody that says Kobe is the greatest of all time, but there are people that do say him. Now, with this big three challenge, I went ahead and obviously put them all on the Lakers. The three versions of the players that I used, I used Kobe from the 2001 2002 Lakers, I do believe that is the version in the game. Um, the the 95-96 Michael Jordan and the 2012-2013 Miami Heat. I'm pretty sure that's the Heat team that is in the game. Not so sure. Let's see how long we can go before we lose our first game. We're 4-0. We are looking great. And then we lose to the Brooklyn Nets. Like, of all teams we lose to, it's not the Thunder, it's not the Spurs, it's not the Warriors, it's not the Cavs. It's the Brooklyn Nets. I don't really understand that, but then again, I kind of do because, you know, three ball hog kind of players, especially with Kobe and MJ on the same team. There's only one basketball, and they got to make it work somehow. Honestly, in real life, I feel like this team would not win a championship just because MJ is stubborn and Kobe is stubborn and LeBron can be stubborn at times. I mean, we beat the Warriors by one. I mean, we are, we are, we are, we are looking great. <laughs> We beat the Spurs by 13, beat the Bulls by 26, and then we have the Spurs coming up on the 6th, but we end up losing by 13. And we do beat LeBron James's Cleveland Cavaliers, his current day Cleveland Cavaliers. I forgot to take him off of the Cavs. Probably should have done that, but it's kind of interesting to see, you know, the stat comparisons for both. Let's go ahead and take a look at the standings at the All-Star break. The Thunder are 45 in 9, 27 and 3 at home, 14 and a half point differential. That is absolutely insane. We are ahead of the uh, Golden State Warriors and then the rest of the Western Conference standings were there. Here are the uh, Eastern Conference standings and obviously current day LeBron James has led the Cavs to a 38-14 record. Good enough for first in the Eastern Conference. Here are the league leaders in points. Le LeBron is just ahead of Michael Jordan. Current day LeBron that is uh, in terms of points but MJ averaging about 24, 7, 5, 1 block. I think that was 2 steals and 2.5 and turnovers. Yes, that is 2 steals. Let's go ahead and take a look at where Cole Kobe and LeBron are. They're not even in the top 20. LeBron averaging 19 and a half, 10 and a half, 7 and a half, 1 steal, 2 blocks, and about 1 and a half turnovers. Which means the player that has not scored the most is Kobe Bryant. 95 overall for Kobe Bryant, averaging 19 points. I mean, like I said, there's only one ball, all right? So they all have to share it equally, which Obviously, Michael Jordan is being ball dominant right now. Here are the player stats on the season. Let me know if you guys want me to turn off chemistry and injuries just to see how well these teams can do with a fully healthy roster and with no chemistry issues. Let me know that in the comment section down below. So looking at the team stats, obviously, Michael Jordan is atop everybody. MVP race. Both LeBrons are there. You can see kind of the uh, stat comparison for both of them. Current day LeBron is averaging more points than Miami Heat LeBron, but I mean, current day LeBron is asked to do a lot more than LeBron in this big three video. So let's see how we do in the second half of the season. First thing we need to do is to beat the San Antonio Spurs first game off of the All-Star break, and we do so, but then we lose two straight games to the Memphis Grizzlies, but then beat the Warriors by three. I think we've actually beat the Warriors in all of our meetings this season, which I think is four because they are in the same division. We do go ahead and beat the Thunder, which is great going into the playoffs. We beat them by 11. And speaking of the Thunder, Kevin Durant wins the MVP. No surprise, he always wins it. Carl Anthony Towns, rookie of the year. Nikola Jokic, sixth man of the year. DeAndre Jordan, who's on the Wizards, wins defensive player of the year. I don't know why, but he always gets traded in every single my league that I do. It's either whether it's rebuilding, retooling, or this. He always gets traded either either to the Wizards, the Hornets, the Thunder. I've seen him get traded to the Knicks. I've seen him get traded to the Pacers. 
Why does DeAndre Jordan always get traded? The, you know what? The Clippers are stupid, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. As you saw, Michael Jordan did make the All-NBA third team, and LeBron makes the All-Defensive first team. I think he's actually came out and said that like he deserves to be the Defensive Player of the Year. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does win that award at some point in his career. I thought that this was kind of interesting to see current day LeBron and Miami Heat LeBron and how they stacked up against each other on the season. Obviously, Miami Heat LeBron is going to have a better three-point percentage because that was when he was consistently hitting threes. Here are the league leaders in points at the end of the season and just stats on the year. MJ is fifth and LeBron and Kobe are 22 and 23 in the league in terms of scoring. They were only .3 off of each other, but Kobe Bryant did shoot a higher percentage and LeBron shot a higher percentage from three. So let's get on into the playoffs. Let's see if we can beat the Portland Trailblazers in round number one, tied 2-2. Yo, the Trailblazers just took us to seven games and would you look at this? We tried to come back from 3-1 down against the San Antonio Spurs, but it did not work. We get eliminated in seven games. Nobody was hurt on the team. It's just... You know, Kobe is very ball dominant. He's a ball hog. Jordan can be a ball hog. LeBron can be a ball hog at times. There's only one basketball and three great players. Honestly, I feel like that is the reason why that team did not work out. Here are the playoff averages for the whole entire playoff run. MJ was sixth in the league in scoring, averaging about 24 points per game. Kobe was 14th, which I believe uh, since he was lower than LeBron in the regular season scoring, that means he's higher, obviously, than LeBron in the postseason scoring. There are the numbers for LeBron. Shot about 53.5%. Very impressive. And then our team stats on the year, basically. Yo, how did Roy Hibbert average 12 points per game? That's my question. Trash Hibbert, man. Trash Hibbert. That's all I got to say about that. If you guys don't know, I am a Pacers fan. And yeah, his uh, last season here definitely was not one to remember. So this big three challenge ended up being a failure. They did not win a championship in one year. Also, I know I'm like asking you guys, let me know this, let me know that, but let me know if you guys want me to go on past the year and see how long it actually takes them to win a championship. But that is gonna be it for me, man. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know, let me know down in the comment section down below which big threes you guys would like to see next. I'm not even sure which one I will do next. One of these times I will do three centers and just see how that works out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.